In this Excel tutorial, I will show you two different ways to highlight blank cells in your data. So when you're working in Excel, especially if you have a large amount of data, lots of rows and columns and records, it can be kind of hard to identify blank cells that you may have missed. Maybe as you've been entering the data, you didn't know the data that should go in a particular cell and you just skipped it. But forgetting about those blank cells can cause huge problems later as you continue to use your spreadsheet. So let's look at how to draw attention to those blank cells. The first method that I'm going to show you uses the Go To Special feature in Excel. Step one is to click somewhere in your data, hold Control and tap A to select all of the data in your spreadsheet. Next, make sure you're on the Home tab, looking at the Home ribbon, here in the Editing group, look for find and select. Now for me, because my computer screen is small, it just shows up as an icon, but if I put my mouse over it, you can see that it is find and select. And if I click on it, one of the options is go to special. So there's go to special and I'll click on it and it opens up with this box full of options that I can choose from. And I can now select blanks, I click okay. And then here on the home tab, home ribbon, I can apply a fill color. It just so happens that I have yellow selected. So when I click, all of the blank cells show up in yellow. If I don't want yellow, I can click here on this arrow button and I can switch to any other color that I would like to use. So now I'll click away from the selected cells. This bright yellow color makes it absolutely obvious which cells are blank and need to be filled in. Now I'm gonna hold Control and tap Z a couple of times to undo that so I can show you another method for highlighting all of your blank cells. I'll hold Control and tap A again to select all of the data. And then here on the Home tab, Home ribbon in the Styles group, I'm gonna click on Conditional Formatting. And I'll choose Highlight Cells Rules. You can see there's all of these great options for highlighting cells based on the contents of those cells. Maybe the text contains the word Administrative Assistant. I could highlight those cells. Or maybe the contents of a cell is equal to 25, or it's between two numbers, or greater than, or less than. If you want to learn all about the conditional formatting options in Microsoft Excel, please watch my other videos that cover conditional formatting. But I'm just going to go down here to More Rules, and I can select from among these options. Do I want to format all cells based on their values, or format only values that are above or below a certain average? In my case, I want to choose this, Format Only Cells That Contain, and then down here, I'm going to change the rule. Right now it says cell value greater than something. I'm just going to click here and choose Blanks. Format Only Cells With Blanks. Next, I get to decide how to format those cells. So I'll click the Format button, and I get this nice pop-up that I can use to design the formatting for the cells that are blank. I would like the fill color to be yellow, and maybe I'd like a border to outline it. You could do that if you want, you don't have to. I don't really need a font color or a font type because these are blank cells, so they won't have any text or numbers in them. So with those options selected, I'll click OK, and click OK again, and immediately notice that all of the blank cells are highlighted in yellow, and they have borders around them. So this again makes it completely obvious where the blank cells are. If I click on a blank cell and type in some text, that cell is no longer blank, and so it's no longer yellow. So in this video, we've looked at two different ways to quickly highlight all of the blank cells in an Excel spreadsheet. These two methods can save you an immense amount of trouble and work because they can help you to not miss key data that you need in your spreadsheets. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you want to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video or supporting me through my Patreon account or buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate you.